Yo, what's up everybody? It's Stefan here from Mod to Fame. We are back with another video. We got vlogs on vlogs happening right now. Uh, and in this video, brother, we are going to be talking about potentially me being a chief donut maker. Hi, right, let's jump into it. Let's go. I'm in the zone. Give me the game. What shot? That's all that you got. That's all that I know. If you've been looking for the opportunity of a lifetime, I got news that will blow your mind. Dodge has created the sweetest gig ever, AKA the Chief Donut Maker. I'm talking horsepower hitting the road so hard, it makes your head spin. As Chief Donut Maker, you'll have one year to burn rubber in a Dodge Hellcat. Go crazy at incredible events like roadkill nights and share it all with the world. All for a souped up salary of $150,000. You'll be an influencer overnight decked out in a new Dodge wardrobe. Just relax. You don't need to be famous to apply. Anybody can apply. There's only one question. Are you our new chief donut maker? All right, so I'm here with somebody right now, man, that got the inside scoop on what's really going down and what's really going on with Dodge's program called the Chief Donut Maker. He is gonna share with us right now some of the details and the reason why he knows so well is because he's been talking to Dodge directly. Anyway, let's jump into that, man. I wanna introduce you to my guy, Preston, man. If you're an avid watcher of the channel, you know what I'm saying, you've seen this man before. The video that we put out, it didn't even get crazy views like that. But being in the room with this man was a was a beautiful thing. Preston, man, what's the name of your channel, brother? Exotic Car Blacklist. We are out here, baby. Exotic Car Blacklist, man. I'm I'm right now. I just got off a plane. You know what I'm saying? So this is my rental right here. You know, brand new Nissan Maxima. Fully loaded though, leathered out, everything. But it's windy out here. So we're gonna step into his office, which is a brand new 2022. 2022. 2022. 2022. Dodge Hellcat wide body indigo blue y'all know that's a color you know this is a color that's near and dear to my heart anyway let's jump into the car and we're gonna talk about it come on so this man just picked this car hold on, hold on this man just picked this car up yesterday they told him break it in first but peer pressure is a hell of a drug because this man right here is like rev it rev it he like nah i'm not gonna do it because it's new he like rev it rev it you got bro go ahead it's your car you do what you want <laughs> oh man for stock that's pretty good for stock for stock that's pretty good but you just revved your brand new engine that's not broken in yet good job <laughs> all right man so we had to come somewhere where we could you know really come and talk i want the people to be able to hear you yep you know what i'm saying yep. it was a little windy outside yep. but anyway chief donut maker what yes. is that so Chief Donut Maker, man, this it was a contest that Dodge actually is still going on. The contest initial submissions are closed, so we had to submit a two-minute video um, explaining why we wanted to be Dodge's Chief Donut Maker, and that's not really making donuts at a factory for people to eat. What that is is spinning a car around at events for Dodge. So once I saw that they were offering this opportunity to become a Chief Donut Maker, traveling around, you know, to car shows with them, 
get a 150k salary, get a Hellcat on Dodge for a year. Then your boy knew that he had to do it. I found out through, about the contest. Stop. Yep. Sorry. Yep. You sped through that, mm -hmm. and that was a lot of good meat and potatoes, bro. Yep. So start over. Dodge ran a contest. Yep. Right. Yep. And the hope of that contest is to have a chief donut maker, which is a job title position, right? Right, not okay. really making donuts in the kitchen. So someone who can represent Dodge, yep. give it action. A brand ambassador. A brand ambassador yep. for them that got some wheel skill a little bit. Yep, but, okay. not, but not popular. They didn't want anybody popular. They wanted somebody that they could bring okay. up. Okay, all right, cool. Yep. And, but for being part of this, it's actually like a job because you said you get a salary? You get a salary. Of how much? 150. One fit one hundred and fifty thousand a year. Yep, that's yeah. really good. For, but for one and year. you get to keep your job. Yeah, it's only, they only they only want you to travel on weekends. What? <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Right? Crazy. All right. You, and crazy. then in addition to that, they're gonna give you a help. Yeah, okay. Give me a haircut for a year. So this is gonna go in storage. If if, if you contest, were to win the contest, this going in storage for a full year. Why would you just sell it? Cause I'm gonna pay it off and keep it. 23 of last year, right? So I wanna hold on to that. So for me, this is it's, it's gonna be- All right, but that's hypothetically speaking. Right? That's hypothetically speaking. It, it but, is. so you get a Hellcat, yeah. you get $150,000 a year, and you get to go to all the Dodge events yeah. and represent them. And a minimum, a minimum of 14. You gotta go to a minimum of, minimum 14, of 14 of their events. Yeah. But what if it's far away? Did y'all talk about that? What if it's far away? It don't mean nothing to you. Nah. You get on the road. I'm gonna get on the road. What's, pro what's probably gonna happen though? 150K, yeah, what? you better get on the <laughs> What's probably gonna happen to be real is if it's like California, SEMA, something like that, then they're probably gonna fly you and give you a car there. I can't imagine them having right. me drive. They don't need your stock car. Right, right, right. I can't imagine them having me drive that far and then trying to make it back home to go to work on Monday. All right, cool. Yeah. So, I mean, we talking about this as if I told them that you have the inside scoop into as much information you have it because what makes what makes you the authority what happened for you what happened for me as far as is like so what, you entered this contest yeah and i entered this contest my two minute video the on, my, on my on my youtube page um status i mean status is i'm top 10 out of 150 so you, people whoa, whoa, whoa so you a finalist yeah, i'm a finalist out congratulations out of 150 so i told y'all my, my man my man my man is on right now bro yeah. He is a top 10 finalist in competition to win chief donut maker. So basically, it's uh, it's gonna be you or nine other people yep. who are gonna win this position. Yep. yep. When do you find out? If you uh, win or not? That's, how a do you really, that's a really good question. It's, it, as much as I can say, cause I'm under NDA, as much as I can say. Fair enough. Um, I will, I mean, I should know something by when it's televised, which they so won't So you're going to find out with everybody else? Yeah. So when you say it's televised, it's going to be filmed by Dodge and everything? The comp so it is going to be like some competition you're going to have to go to. It is. It is. I wonder if it's a driving it competition. Well, the, we first, the first competition was dropped on Dodge website. We didn't even know. The contestants, they dropped it to the public, to y'all. And the first contest is an interview with Goldberg. So you're going to do an interview with Goldberg? Goldberg? Or you did it already? No, nah, I have to do it. You got to do an interview yep. with Goldberg. Once, once I fly out and get there. Yep. So they're going to fly you out to meet Goldberg in person? Yep. And you got to do an interview with him? Yep. Oh, <laughs> shit. Yep. Yo, I ain't going to lie. What, what <laughs> other car manufacturer is doing this? None, man. None. Bro, there's no other car None. manufacturer. Now, listen, they got to do this, though, right? Because these cars have been around a while. So mm -hmm. how do you keep rejuvenating? How do you keep that fire lit? Yeah. Because there's a fire under these cars right now. It like is. the to the to the public grassroots racers and you know even people who are not necessarily racers and just want to cool that yeah. car. Yeah. These cars got it in spades, bro. Yeah. Yeah. They I mean from that's why you got guys who could buy an SXT and still be chilling because the car itself carried the cloud. Yep. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? These cars got the clout. If you think about it, every freaking car that you see that wants to race, the first thing they say is, I could be the Hellcat. <laughs> that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's like their, that's their benchmark, bro. It is. So it is. they get their car all modified to be like, I could be the stock Hellcat. Yep. But what does that tell you? Yep. 
that the Dodge, Dodge is the brand. Dodge, Dodge is the is standard, yeah, bro. The standard. Yeah, that yeah. is the say what you want, call them bolts, call them whatever you want. Yeah. This is the standard, bro. It is. So this is the gatekeeper. It is. 100%. And I'm getting to meet them. And they followed me on Instagram yesterday. Dodge. Dodge official. Followed me on Instagram yesterday. Yo, listen. Yep. All right, man. So just uh, flash back to a year ago. Yep. It was ex it was almost exactly a year ago. It, right was. it was. It was. So flash back to a year ago, man. Uh, myself, Stunnery's Demonology, which we're still gonna do. We're gonna put on a conference for YouTubers, um, and it's called the Create a Connection Retreat. And I will be there. Yes. Where we gonna uh, fly out? Everybody's gonna fly in. We're gonna have a whole conference, and we're gonna teach you guys about the importance of. Uh, where to be, how to behave, how to move on social media to get opportunities. Bro, we had a mock conference a year ago. We did. He was there. Absolutely. He was one of the people Absolutely. that came to the mock conference. One year later, this man has been <laughs> chosen as a top 10 finalist. <laughs> This is what I think I told you guys. It don't matter the size of your channel. It don't. Move don't. like you big now. There you go. I said that, yeah, right? Yeah, he did. And that's how I've been moving. Jump on every... <laughs> and, you know, he said the reason... I asked him, why did you make this trip down... To, we had it in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And it was a good time because we were chilling on the beach and shit. Yep. We had a good time. We had a really we nice time. Really <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We chilled for like two days. Yeah, we did. And just had fun and filmed and all that. But yep. we also broke bread. We talked. Um, Stunner Reese and I, we coached, yep. and they did the work though. Y'all did the work. You, Toro704, uh, you know, Kia, uh, the ladies that were there as well. Every They put in their own work, you know what I'm saying? We just told them about it and they put in the work. And brother, I just feel like a proud <laughs> papa. I ain't gonna lie, I feel like a proud <laughs> papa. So I saw the, I saw the commercial from Dodge, yep. this commercial right here. I'm Artie Show Jr. I'm Andrew Chavez. What's up, everyone? My name is Corey Matthews. I am the biggest Dodge fan. Everybody calls me Speedy. I'm Howie. I'm Jamie Heath. Third generation Mopar. I'm your Uncle Hellcat. I'm just here to become Dodge's chief donut maker. I saw that commercial from Dodge. What's up, brother? Hey, sir. Do you have any issues with the vehicle, though? No, we're not having any issues. Okay. I'm actually just interviewing him real quick. Oh, okay. I thought the rule like that. I said you guys need something to tell no, me. No, no, no. <laughs> he got this car yesterday, okay. and I'm asking him his true feelings on what it's like okay. to is buy. Right here too? It is, yeah. Okay, all right. Try to, try to avoid the police. Police lights, you don't know, fire and stuff. Thank you very much. Right. I appreciate it. He was looking to get into stuff. Hold on a second. Baby, you good? Huh? No, no, we good. All right. The tent. The, the, the tent. tent. Just the got the, <laughs> is it rolling out? I'm looking. Yeah, my bad. My nah, bad. Nah, my nah, bad. Nah, my nah, bad. Nah, my bad. Nah, my bad. He just got the tents put on here when? Yesterday. He just got tents put on here yesterday and I rolled the window uh, down. Well, you, we, we you, good, though. You're supposed to wait a week. <laughs> my bad, bro. It didn't mess up. It did not. So it's dry. I'd have paid for it. It's, if it's, it's a lifetime warranty. I'd have paid for it. It's a lifetime warranty. They would have paid for it. All right. Cool. 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 But listen, man, all I'm saying is I'm, I'm so excited. I feel like a proud papa. Whether you get it or not, yeah. to be known now, now you're known by Dodge. They know who you are. That's true. From, That's true. you know, small guy trying to come up and make it to the main stage like this. Yeah. Like this, bro. You are on the cusp of becoming one of the people... This that's this, this is a life changing opportunity. Yeah, exactly. And I say I tell everybody that it it's is. a life changing it opportunity, not because of one hundred and fifty thousand dollars, not because of them giving you a car. Right. It's a life changing opportunity because this is what you want to do. Yep. You mm -hmm. want to build a social platform that people will know who Exotic Car Blacklist is. That's so, what makes so it a life changing me, opportunity. Let me speak on that because that is very important. There, when people ask you the viewer what is your dream job what's your ideal job to have i always tell people to youtube full-time and to drive cars around and do what i want to this will give me that opportunity to this is it. drive cars around do youtube full-time if i wanted to but i'm not and to drive cool cars all day this is my dream job literally so to me 
this is like you Eminem, you only got one shot. And this this to me you is my one though. shot. You said that a year ago. Yep. You brought up Eminem again. <laughs> this I is guess my that one movie shot. was inspirational. You, because you only got one shot and and that one shot might be the opportunity to change your life. And for me this is this is kinda it. Not kinda it. This is it. This is yeah. it. This is it. This is it, man. So whether you get it or not, man, there's people who go on, you know, America's top yep. uh, voice or whatever. What's this? Uh, what's, what's this one of them singing shows? The like the first American one, got, American Idol. American, American there you Idol. Go. There you go. Bro, don't watch it. bro. Like I mean, I used to watch it years ago when it first came out. Yeah. But think about it. The people who were runner up, the people who were third place, we still know who they are today. Do. They didn't win. But they were on the main stage. They were, and they bro. still get opportunities. So no matter what, no matter what, congratulations on thank being you. a finalist, thank man. You. Thank you. Congratulations, thank you. whether you win, or whether you not. I want you to win. I want, you <laughs> I to, want win. to win too. I need to bring it home, man. I want you to win. Bring the East Coast. I want you to win. You hear yeah, me? yeah. I want you to win. <laughs> me too. But you don't even <laughs> gotta win, bro. We made it. We, we all you see, <laughs> we did honestly for real. We made it. We made it. They know, honest, they know us now, yep. bro. We in there. You yep. know what I'm saying? Yep. And a lot of people know exactly what I'm saying yeah. without saying it. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? They know exactly what I'm saying yes. without yes. saying it. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I feel so proud, man. <laughs> man. It is crazy, man. Just, just a year ago. One year ago. One year ago, bro. One year ago. That's crazy, man. So, another thing that you manifested one year ago is the fact that you know one day you gonna get a Hellcat. I did, and I had just bought my scat bag when I said that, literally. And I was, you know, I even said Bruh. in that video, like I know I just got this, but still, what I wanna have is the Hellcat. Whatever it is you're doing in life, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Whatever it is you're doing every day, yeah. keep doing that yeah. because you're being rewarded. You know what I'm saying? You are being rewarded. You are being put in the right places. You know what I'm saying? You bought this Hellcat. I did. I think that's I the did. craziest shit ever, knowing you a top 10 finalist, that you went out and bought a Hellcat anyway. <laughs> Why you would go out and buy a freaking $90,000 car, knowing that you could be getting a $90,000 car for free? Well, it's going to be in the 100. I'm going to option it all the way up. You're going to jailbreak that shit. You're going to jailbreak that shit. I'm going to get what I would he not gonna, normally buy. He's going to jailbreak everything. That's what I'm saying. So, look, that's between you and your bank account. It is. That ain't none of my business. No, no, the Dodge, that's free. No. The fact that you bought this car, oh, <laughs> knowing that you are a finalist, that is between you and oh, your bank man. account. Yeah, I ain't got yeah, nothing to yeah, do with that. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, all I'm yeah. saying is you were in the position to do it. Yeah. From a Scat to a Porsche Cayenne. Turbo. Sorry, my bad. Mm -hmm. That's right, I do the same thing. Yeah. When people talk about my Panamera, yeah. I'll be like, Turbo. turbo. You yeah. gotta say that turbo. Yeah. Cause look, Turbo, that sticker price. It's it, it went, it's completely different. It, went, it goes from 90 to yeah. 150 real, real fast. quick. Real fast. Real yes. quick, just with yep. that one word. Yep. Turbo. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Listen, bro, <laughs> Preston. Yep. Happy for you, man. I appreciate you. Man. I can't wait to see what happens, man. I, I hope that uh, you do get. I hope you win, because if you win, we all win. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying we all Absolutely. on your back. Absolutely. You feel me? Absolutely. And this is how I like to use my platform too. You know what I'm saying I share my platform with people who I see are doing the work. Try. <laughs> I share try. my platform <laughs> with people that I see are doing the work, man. And thank you, thank you. For that. Come on, man. Thank you. Come on, man. Same thing, you know what I'm saying? You know, people that I see that are out here working and moving, I celebrate them. You know what I'm saying? And I, I get behind them. So, uh, beautiful car. Y'all know Indigo Blue holds a special place in my heart because my red eye was Indigo Blue. Killmonger, I miss it greatly. I miss this color. This color is absolutely sick. Once you get it polished up, ceramic coated, man, it's going, it's going pop. So I just gotta wait for my detail guys. And you got the red next and week. you got the red guts. Well, well the week after the next I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it taken care of everything. It's gonna be completely cleaned up detailed. Because it hasn't been detailed since I bought it. I told them not to clean it up. Okay, that's so, yeah, because yeah. they be putting swirls in it and stuff. And that's exactly why. Yeah, the, their the first, detail the first, dealership detail department suck. They do. They, they do. do. They're yep. bad. They don't even have a detail department when I got this. They got a car wash. They run it through the car wash. Not even a brushless wash. What? Did you not? Yep. Bro, well, you got the red guts, yep. blue outsides, 
You know what I'm saying? You Superman in this shit. Yep. There you go. You Superman you in go. this shit. That's what I refer to it as. I love, too. I love it. <laughs> yep. I love it, man. I know you got some plans for this car. Yep. But please don't touch it until we find out what happens with Chief Donut Maker Absolutely. because, you know what I mean? Yep. You got great things on the horizon. Don't get distracted. Yep. Stay on it. Proud of you, my guy. I appreciate it. I have that. to hit the road with my family. Yep. Um, we going to go see her. I'm heading down to South Carolina, which is why I'm in Charlotte right now. Mm -hmm. I flew into Charlotte, driving my rental down to South Carolina the rest of the way. Yep. Uh, but I had to stop and see my guy, man. Congratulate him real quick. And I wanted to tell you guys about Chief Donut Maker. We heard about it. We didn't see nothing else about it. To be honest with you, I didn't even apply. I, I, you know what? And I expected you to apply. I expected a lot of people apply. to apply that actually did. I didn't apply because I just felt like, you know, uh, that's not going to go my way. Yeah, and that's how I felt. I don't have things go my way in life. Like, it, it just don't happen like that. But you would think But let that different. be a lesson to you. You would think different. This year, now, nah, I'm going to say it started when I got my job back in August. My life changed. And I can't, I can't explain to you what changed, but things started falling into place. It was like a puzzle. Things never went my way. I'm that guy in life. But I can literally tell y'all that from from focusing on what I really care about to focusing on my family to focusing on health and wealth, things have changed for me completely. So just keep that in mind, man. Just focus on what you have to in life. Wow. Wow. That's all, <laughs> that's all I gotta say, wow. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people be like, oh, you're lucky. Uh, you, 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 you get your way all the time. Brother, that does not happen. Mm -hmm. What a lot of people don't realize is it's not luck mm -hmm. that's doing it. Mm -hmm. It's the fact that you're working, you're grinding, you're you're making the right moves, mm -hmm. and you're jumping on opportunities. You know what I'm saying? Luck. Go. Luck yeah. is not yeah. luck. Nope. There's no such thing as luck. Is there such thing as you know God's favor? Absolutely. Yes. God does have favor, but He only has favor when you do the work. You gotta f take the first nine steps. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, he'll, Absolutely. He'll help you on that 10. Yeah, he will. Absolutely. He'll help you on that 10. Absolutely. But you gotta make the first <laughs> nine steps. I live where I live, I drive what I drive, and I'm able to spend how I spend because I took the first nine steps. This man right here, he's only on step seven, and you see what's happening for him. Thanks. <laughs> I'll see y'all later, man. God bless. Oh.